it's great. I mean, it's great to, be, to have been a part of this golf course. It really is. I, that I never thought it would achieve the status that it has. of its time and it has withstood the test of time. So I think that just really goes to show the staying power of this course and how it has challenged our players over years. What I love about Pete Dye golf courses is he plays with your imagination, your imagery. It makes you think that there's not nearly as much room on maybe the short side as there really is. Chipping the ball around here in May is pretty scary because it's, it's thick Bermuda, it's shaved down, but now they got this overseat so the ball kind of sits up every time. The property really had two things going for it from the beginning. The first was the location, which Dean Beeman wanted to be close to the ocean. He had moved the tournament to uh, Sawgrass in 1977 and then decided he wanted to build his own golf course and looked in this area. But the Fletchers, who, who own this property, were smart enough to realize that if we could get this kind of golf course on their land, it would make all the surrounding land very, very valuable. The property itself had a great location and it had beautiful tree cover. But unfortunately what it didn't have going for it was a lot of uplands. There are some great stories that uh, I love to hear about how this was you know, hundreds of acres of swampland and an amazing challenge for, for Pete Dye and Bobby Weed and others on his apprenticeship staff to craft this, this land and make this swamp land into a pretty amazing golf course that tests our players even today. It was a steal as far as uh, Dean was concerned. I mean, to buy it for a dollar is a testament to Dean Beeman's deal-making ability. And everybody thinks that was outrageous to even ask for that, but Dean didn't. The Fletchers did realize that they could never afford to build the kind of golf course. No developer could afford to build the kind of golf course that Dean was going to build, the tour was going to build, and certainly couldn't stage an event equivalent to what the tour was going to do. To be here where the PGA Tour is going to make sure this place is the most pristine, they're going to make sure that whatever needs to be done to make this place world class are going to do and, and they've done that with renovations to the back area to make the back area where the pros are allowed to practice even better. I know there's renovations in, in the future to possibly renovate the front side to the resort side as we call it here. Being here on site, understanding the enormity of it all, the size. It's not that it's unwalkable, but it is, a, it is a large property. We have a tremendous amount of infrastructure. It was originally designed not only to be purpose-built for players, but purpose-built for fans. So that means great views, vantage points, vistas, great lines of sight for our attendees, our guests, but also allow them to get in and around the golf course easily. We've invested in that to an even higher degree this year in our new welcome experience, our new entry coming out of our main parking lot, our main staging area, that is a true sense of arrival and first impression. So, so doubling down on that fan experience and making it really that, that gold standard in our sport. Typically these fairways are hard to hit because they're firm and they're tight, but I think this grass makes the ground softer and so the fairways in a sense become wider. So you might see guys taking more club off the tee than, than they would have if it was in May. The way this course has stood up to the improvements in, in equipment and the way the players can hit the ball now, the length of, of carry and all compared to, to when it was built, you know. And now courses are, are being built significantly longer than this one, and yet this one is still 
challenging and I've, you know, at the length that it, it was, it's been lengthened a little bit, but not nearly as much as, uh, as some of the new courses. So right now it's really soft because we're letting the ryegrass grow up, but also we've had a lot of rain here in the area for the last couple of months. So the course is a little bit softer, but you know, from what I've been, I've seen lately, you want to drive the ball in the fairway. The rough is really lush and very thick, so it's going to be pivotal to put the ball in the fairway this year than it has in past years. You know, you're going to see a bright green golf course, a beautiful looking golf course. Not that it wasn't beautiful in May, but it's con completely different, contrasts what we've seen in May to now. We were focused on compressing the PGA Tour schedule, starting with the Players' Championship in March and part of the original vision by uh, Dean Beeman and Pete Dye to combine, really to model out the best event in, in professional golf. While the, the playing area does not go through a transition, our surrounds uh, during tournament week versus the other 51 weeks of the year do, having it originate here in a select group of people that are in the clubhouse and the players and their families uh, throughout it makes it a uh, makes it a pretty special place to be. And then the greens, as of now, they're softer. They're a little slower, but I don't think they'll be slower for the tournament. But I do think those factors are telling you it's going to be easier. But then we're going to probably have to deal with the wind in the cooler temperatures. So who knows what it'll be like? But I think if we have good weather, the scores might be a little better. Tour support, being here where they see it every day and they're going to want to make sure that this place is top class, is right up there with you know the best private clubs in the world. It's awesome to be a part of and it's awesome to see how much they care about, you know, just not the tour but TPC Sawgrass as well. I look back now at the pictures of the, of the grand opening and <laughs> it's, it's frightening how unfinished it was and, and yet we thought we were done. You know, and compared to where we started, we were done. But uh, the tour has continued to refine this golf course and change this golf course, and it'll never be finished. It, it will always be improved. 